Good morning. Today is November 1st. Now, you're, uh, I have to apologize. They are repaving the parking lot, like, right next door. So, there's, there's going to be a lot of noise in the background. Sorry. I don't know what to say. <laughs> so, today, we have numbers of 1 and 15. Okay, 1 is about your identity. It's new beginnings. It's expression. It is moving forward. Okay, then we also have the number 15. Okay, 15 is a transformation. Um, in the tarot deck, 15 is represented by the devil. Okay, uh, Capricorn energy. So it's about boundary expression. Okay. How you serve others because 15 also equals six so six is healing it's the healer it's showing your love through service it's also six house okay so it's about industrious your everyday services what you oh what you allow and what you don't allow basically okay and then um oh yeah because it's November today, we are now in a, an 11 month, a 14 universal month, guys. So 11 is a portal in which things can manifest when you break 11 down, um, and it is a master number. If you break it down, which means adding these single digits together, one plus one equals two. Uh, two is decisions, plans, goals, strategy, intimacy, um, partnership, and balance. Okay, so that is what a lot of people are working on this month. And then the other month number, uh, the universal month number is 14. So that is expressing grounding or expressing power, uh, individual achievement also. And that breaks down to a number five. And five is gifts, surprises, and changes. So changes of power, changes of stability, changes in roots. So it's like changes in your grounding in regards to goals. Changes, expressing stability, stability, excuse me. So the goals that you are going after or that you're completing this month are in regards to making things better for yourself. Um, being open to change in the future. And we have no major transits today, although we have some that are prevalent, um, especially Mercury retrograde in Scorpio as of yesterday. Um, <laughs> for some of you guys, if you're open to change in the future, you will attract some luck. Today you should be feeling pretty good, get along with people, um, home life should be okay. Uh, you could possibly get a promotion in your job. Now promotion means could mean um, credit or you're regarded, you're regarded as an authority. It could be a promotion, an actual promotion. It could be a bonus. It could be a raise or it could be a change in authority in your job. Like you could be promoted to supervisor or acting supervisor, something to that effect. So many things going on today, my goodness. So it's really nice to finally feel a little bit of balance. Um, things have been so odd lately. And the funny thing is, I would I would associate weird or odd with Uranus, but with all the outer uh, planet transits that are going on, um, everything is weird. <laughs> So there's, yeah, there's definitely something in the works here, but it hasn't happened yet. Ooh. So the first card we have is coffin. Coffin is usually a sign of something closing out, but look, it's reversed. Okay. See the numbers, beginnings and endings, closing out a cycle and moving forward with something new, which we have a number one today. That uh, 19 breaks down to 10, which breaks down to a one which is one of the numbers of the day. Um, so there's something that has not concluded yet, 
and it looks like it's in regards to what path you're going to travel, where you're supposed to be going, your destiny. So it may represent that there's still an unknown. Okay, something has not been completed. There's a little bit more to come. Okay, I lied. I don't know if it's a little bit or a lot. All I know is there's a possibility that something's not quite over yet. And, you know, with the Mercury retrograde, that can be just people coming back from your past, right? If the coffin, uh, the coffin represents a lot of things, one of the things it represents is closure, endings, excuse me, a few of things, a few of the things it represents, closure, endings, and it also represents a physical death. Okay, so to me that could be Pluto, okay, because uh, Pluto is not in retrograde, but Pluto, Pluto and Mars rule Scorpio, which we are in Scorpio season. Scorpio is about death, uh, transformation. So things haven't quite worked out yet. Things haven't changed yet, but it's in the works according to the numbers and according to the transit. Change is coming. It's just in increments at a time. And soon all will be revealed and you'll figure out which way that you're supposed to go. Now we have message of concern and official person. So this is not this is not the greatest card, the message of concern, and it's also number 14, which is our universal month number. Okay, and what did I say that was? That was change, right? And uh, an expression, uh, achievement, ability, stability, grounding, expressing stability. So this could be, this message of concern could be somebody saying, what if this doesn't work? What if this doesn't work out? Or it could be just you questioning yourself, okay? Because they're not speaking to anybody. We've got two, uh, I want to say speakers back to back, 14 and number 22. You see the 22? 22 is official person. That's a representative, okay? It's a representative. It's a first responder. It's somebody speaking on behalf of but when we have 22 that is an officer of peace so it could be you know military and uh, judicial or law involvement so okay I'm hearing I hope the cops don't come official person can be an announcement a disclosure a confession or a reveal so somebody's worried that a secret is going to come out or somebody's worried that there may be somebody working against them um, behind the scenes. So let's clarify coffin. Oh, did you guys see that card? <laughs> I saw it. King of Wands. Okay, so for something that hasn't ended, some of you guys may have been thinking that something may end. There was an impossible... Um, mission, well not an impossible mission, just a costly one, something that cost a lot. Um, maybe you owe or on your behalf, such as a tax or um, like if your car was, an imp was impounded and an impound fee. Um, somebody's trying to avoid uh, something going to auction. King of Wands is a leader. This person is very passionate. They get up. They're a go-getter. They get up. They take care of problems. They take care of responsibilities. And they're the first one to act. Oh. So this is like... I could have died. You saved my life. You changed my life. I was cer a certain certain doom, certain death, and then if it hadn't been for you, you saved me. So this is kind of like some kind of emergency disaster in which somebody is saved and this person is a hero. They took action and because of them, somebody got another chance. Let's clarify. Coffin more. Nice. And I want to say thank you for your service. So it could be lit, um, military. Two of Pentacles. Yep, change. Um, making a decision. For me, this is this can be financial obligations or just obligations. Period. There could be somebody that that could have said, uh, you know, when they express 
if it wasn't for you or if you hadn't come along or I'd be dead now if I didn't have you. And then we've got the Two of Pentacles, which is the uh, change or exchange of energy. I would never have been able to live with myself if I didn't act right away. Okay. Not that I felt obligated. I didn't feel obligated. I took it upon myself. Okay. I... What is it called when you um, decided that you had to act? Um, well, this is kind of like a snap decision, okay? And we do have, I, I believe we do still have a T-square that exits at Mars. I don't know. I didn't look at my charts this morning. But if I'm not mistaken, we do have a T-square that ends in Mars. Mars would be action. Mars would be fire. And this could be, you know, somebody taking action. Oh, Where's the moon? Hold up. Let me check my, uh, the moon is, was conjunct Jupiter and Sagittarius yesterday. So it's still in Sagittarius. And we'll move to Capricorn very shortly. Okay. So Sagittarius, um, the moon in Sagittarius, Moon conjunct, Mercury and Scorpio. So this could literally be a car accident or a fire where we have a hero. This official person, well, this not necessarily this being a hero, but speaking because they're together. The message of concern, an official person. This is somebody speaking to the hero. You know, thank you, and I am hearing thank you for your service also. So yeah, it feels like somebody was saved from some fire or an accident or gunfire. I want to check something really quick, guys. I'm going to put you guys on pause. Okay, guys. So remember I told you guys I'd been tracking the moon. So under Sagittarius moon, what I can see so far from here, this is... Dang it. And of course, the second I look for it, it's gone. Taking risks and proving pe people wrong, going above and beyond, doing the right thing, having high morals, extreme positivity, a major perspective shift. What else? Um, oh, and also uh, with the moon in Sagittarius and this being Scorpio, the cusp of Scorpio into Sagittarius. Um, it is, I just lost it again, guys. <laughs> what was I, oh, about the media. So this could actually like show up on TV. I don't know, we'll see. My, um, the card that I use for social media would be the temperance card. So we'll see if that comes out. But it most likely will be covered on the news. Um, more than one instance of it. This could be some kind of media announcement. So for some of you guys, there's something going on. Some kind of, oh, Moon and Capricorn S coming up. Scandal. There's some kind of scandal that will be coming up for somebody. And it's not over. And there's somebody worried that some kind of secret is going to come out. We are in Scorpio Sun, right? The Sun tends to reflect light on things. Okay, and Scorpio is the dark. So it's literally lighting up the dark places. Yep, right there. Lighting up the dark places. The angels and the demons. A lot of people falling from grace. And some of them deserve it. Some of them don't. Some people could be, like with this, somebody's angry that something is not over yet. Somebody may have to pay a little bit more money or they're receiving a message from this King of Wands. It's uh, For me, the prince and the princesses are the ones that are the messengers, but when the King of Wands comes healing, it's like, Not that it's a physical mess. It's not that it's a message like written on the paper or whatever. It, it's definitely a communication. This is I did it. 
I paid some of this off. Okay, they're bringing my attention to the uh, to the wedding ring again. So this is within a partnership. This feels like there's an issue that both of you are dealing with. It can be about taxes, inheritance, wills, shared property, shared resources. And at this time, you guys can be really, really close and taking care of some obligations. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Hold on. I want to double check something. How did I get... Uh oh. Something is wrong. <laughs> Today is the first we had... Oh, how did I get moon control? I put something wrong. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. <laughs> Yesterday, I told you the moon was conjunct with Jupiter and Sagittarius. That was wrong. I think I put it under the wrong day. Or it may have been conjunct earlier, and then later on it moved to Capricorn. Okay, so I was wrong. The, I tell you guys, I'm not an astrologer. The moon is in Capricorn. So Capricorn is serious business. Um, and the thing with Capricorn, so... According to this, remember I was saying either fire, an accident, um, and I do believe I did say gun, but I think this is shotgun blast. Shotgun. Gun blast. Also, somebody wanting to be recognized as a super powerful or a powerful person. They want to be uh, recognized for what they are what they do, uh, who they are, what they do, excuse me, and they want to be acknowledged for the power, okay, um, action, they want to, they want you to know, they want you to see, they want you to, they want to be recognized, and for others, it's, I did say scandal, didn't I? Yeah, <laughs> that would be Moon and Capricorn. I was wondering why it didn't sound right, um, but the way I've got it written, I don't have it written in chronological order, so <laughs> the Moon conjuncted Jupiter and Sagittarius at the end of Sagittarius and then moves into Capricorn uh, as of yesterday. So today the Moon is in Capricorn. I have cutthroat, takeover, pirates, questions about commitment, um, With the shadow side, I get gunfire, shotgun blasts, um, and cutting, you know, throat cutting, sorry, executions, and the shotgun blast, um, risk of a public scandal, greatest fears, cruelty, and torture, basically, all under Capricorn. For some of you guys, it's industrious. It is... Uh, taking care of business because Capricorn is really sincere. It is a very quiet energy, so you may have found yourself quiet between yesterday and today. Capricorns also don't do very well with emotions, so you may have been putting that on the side and doing a lot of thinking and a lot of physical actions. And that is how Capricorn shows their love with a display of energy. They take action and they invest energy. Okay, so I kept looking at that ring. So this is a partner. This can be, you could be engaged or you could be um, in a committed relationship. Obviously, there's a commitment that they're proving. So this is proving that they're committed to you. They helped you out. They exchanged energy with you and they were gung-ho about it. It might have been their suggestion. Because they've been thinking deeply, and Mercury is retrograde in Scorpio, so that is the inner thoughts, right? Okay, so we have pathway. This is changing the shape of things. You were waiting to see if the ball would drop, and basically the ball did not drop, okay? What the ball did was it skipped to the next level, and it's still floating high. <laughs> okay, so a lot of you guys could be riding on a happy high right now, um because of events in the last day or two, possibly today or the next day or two. 
it just depends on your personal natal chart. Now also too, I want to tell you that the two of pentacles, this two of discs, this is a change, a balance, an exchange, a decision in regards to energy, and it can also be a bill. So there could be a bill that somebody wants to take care of. They may have been thinking about it. Um, all their, They may have initially, in between their thoughts, have mentioned that there's something that needs to be, I want to say, zeroed out. So they could say, we need to pay this off. Pathway. We have, oh, there's a Queen of Wands and Temperance. Okay, so for me... Uh, the wands, the wands is Sagittarius to me, even though it says here, you know, Pisces, the cusp of Pisces into Aries, and that mix of energy can very, very well explain it. But what I see is like, they're different shades, okay? Aries to me is red, Leo to me is yellow, and Sagittarius to me is orange, a bright orange. And we have the Temperance card. Okay, you see the sun in the back and the shield around this person? It's a measure of protection. This is social media. Okay, so you may want to be inspired and broadcast your story. Okay, broadcast um, the direction, uh, whatever, the road that you're traveling, whatever, I didn't mean to say whatever. <laughs> the road that you're traveling on has changed. Suddenly, you can see... I want to say true north. Okay, you see at the at the light at the end of the tunnel, you know, that's the finish line. Okay, so now in your eyes, you can now see forever. Okay, this person has proved their worth to you. You may have a little um, relationship issues that you have to work on but these can be worked on over time this person has done something and it feels like huge i just noticed the swirl of rainbows in this card the swirl of rainbows in this card is almost like oh my god did they really freaking do that it was like magic they suddenly helped you out and they were the ones who wanted to do it it was their own doing it was their own idea you did not put that idea into their head Okay, so things, the, the playing field is now level. Temperance makes things even, makes things level. So when things have been level, they're evened out. Because temperance is blending, right? It's blending hot and cold to make warm. It's blending the light and the dark to make gray. It's blending love and hate to make compassion and forgiveness right we're in the middle leveling out um stable stability stabilizing out see this is one of the numbers of the day i did tell you yeah uh, 14 excuse me it is the universal month number the month may be 11 but the universal month number is 14 okay so this is balancing out what did I just say? Stability, expressing stability. <laughs> so there's the number of stability, four, and there's the expression, I, I, individual expression of the identity, stability. Okay, and telling people your story. This is inspiring. The, uh, the Queen of Wands is sexy. She's dazzling. She's brilliant. Okay, if somebody has just even the score and prove their love to you with their actions this changed the whole balance of things now you know which direction you're headed in your relationship and now you kind of want to tell people don't be don't go too much on the ego don't brag you know no bragging allowed but let people know hey check this out he did this for me he did this for us and basically that's what somebody's realized they're taking action because they've realized that when they help you, they help us. Okay? It's not, I help you and you help me. It's, I help you and that helps us. You help me and that helps us. So, you may be talking up your partner here. Giving your partner the attention that they deserve because after all, right? They've committed, they paid off, one, they may have paid one of your bills. <laughs> or paid uh, something towards your bills, or just put the focus on 
priorities and needs. Your personal priorities and needs. Helping you out when you needed it the most. Okay, so 14. Here's another 14, like I was saying. What is that? So that's two fives already. Oh, wow. Yep. Okay, message of concern. Worried that they were going to say something. Worried that they were going to announce something. Some of you guys may have had this bill pop up recently and you were worried that, oh, I don't know if my partner's going to stick with me. They might dump me for that. Okay, because you were unsure about the direction your relationship was was heading. And then you found out later on, um, this person was all in. They were already thinking about it for a while, so they decided to finally take action. And it didn't matter that you may have gotten a surprise, that it may have been a little bit more than you thought, but they're in it to win it. Okay, so, message of concern, official person, I'm worried they're going to say something, or, yeah, worrying if they're going to announce something, or reveal something, or disclose something. For some of you guys, somebody may have been cheating, and you know, the king of wands is hot to trot. Oh, Yeah. For some of you guys, this person that you may have been cheating with, this is the Queen of Wands, it may have been out of revenge, but the thing is, you find yourself, oh, what is that song? Um, I, fooled I fooled around and fell in love. So this could be, you fooled around and fell in love. And it's changed. It's changed you. It's not over. You may have decided to put a ring on that woman that you fell in love with. Because you guys are a matching pair. We got the king and queen of wands. I didn't even spot that at first. Huh. I haven't had enough coffee. I'm not observant enough. This is Scorpio season, man. I'm a Scorpio. I need to be more observant. Okay, so anyways. We got 14 and 22, 5 and 4. Changes. Ooh, some people, yeah, they may be un uneasy and on edge that some kind of secret's going to come out. Or somebody may be dreading that somebody's going to leave them. Or they're just worried somebody's going to say something. Ooh, Hierophant, the devil, and the queen of this. Okay, so we have the devil as one of our numbers for today also. And five. So we've got one, two, three. We've got three fives, guys. That's a definite change. And not only that, we've got this 15 here. Change, 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 and then finally expressing the change. You know, that's one, two, three. That's three fives. It says it takes three times. Um, it says, I've heard that it takes three times doing something before it becomes a habit. So somebody's been gearing up and practicing little increments of proving their loyalty with the moon and Capricorn this is loyalty sincere taking care of the practical things the devil is Capricorn okay so look at that changes in the habits of the Capricorn <laughs> um, for some of you guys Hierophant can be ooh, changes within 515 And, and for that one that is uh, changing their habits, it's allowing you to manifest. Okay, this is goo, goo, goo. good fortune due to, due, to, due to excellent management. Okay, things are looking up. They're about to take a positive spin. Okay, and it's because this person has changed the way they have interacted with you. They've changed their individual expression, number 15, okay, in their number six, daily service, how they serve others, how they serve themselves, okay, and they may be more, I, I just heard conscious, they're more conscious and they're watching their behaviors, seeing where they've been codependent or where they've taken power from you. They're now beginning to allow you to be free 
look at that okay so what is that Rahu the north node yeah Rahu is the north node there is dark rain dark water coming in the back and it's not it's like the dark oh they just came out of a dark tunnel as I walk okay and I heard this uh, I heard a reference to the movie The Outsiders before. Somebody had said a line from a Robert Frost poem, uh, Nature's Gold. They they posted it, and I, you know, my comment was the first movie, or the first movie, the first line of that poem. But I also remember the almost all of the first line of that book, The Outsiders by S. E. S. E. Hinton. As I walked out of the dark theater into the light or into the sunlight I only had two things on my or one thing on my mind and I can't remember what the hell he said after that but this is pretty much like that okay the dark rain is going in my back you're coming out of it you've got your back turned to the dark back turned to the negative your face forward facing your destiny managing your energy and you're doing very well so it looks like a very fortunate time for the divine feminine it looks like the divine male is changing their ways could this be the t walking away from toxic things this is sacrifice walking away from toxic things that no longer serve you it's also a sign that your divine male is willing to make sacrifices for the love relationship. This is it, guys. You better put a ring on that shit. <laughs> Some of you guys um, are going to be celebrating the holidays together. <laughs> yeah, that ring, being brave. And I think next week we, we've got a T-square coming that... Uh, exit through the moon in Aries so that may be somebody stepping up also too with the hero factor somebody stepping up making the necessary changes investing in the partnership Ooh, look at that and walking away from anything toxic okay changing their previous patterns changing their previous paradigms not a lot not feeding off of the previous paradigms but allowing somebody to be free within the relationship okay so the thing is you already had a little bit of a higher perspective and and this is a sign of the divine male uh, practicing a physical showing of practicing of practicing that <laughs> Okay, and you are the lucky recipient. So yeah, there is an element of luck. You are the, oh, look at that lucky recipient. Look at the two cards I just pulled, guys. Wealthy man and sudden wealth. Okay, 13, Scorpio number, transformation, purging, sudden wealth. This is the number, uh, this is the number of the month. 11, sudden wealth. So this month, there could be a lot of people who are coming into more fortunate times or who benefit, um, through their partnerships, through their loved ones. This could be through contacts because of knowing somebody. So it could be a little bit of nepotism. Um, but if used in the right way, it's not so bad, right? If the person deserves a job, you give them the job, even if they're a relative. But you cannot give somebody a job who doesn't deserve it and cut somebody else out. That would be totally unethical. So sudden wealth. Check. Check. On your, your piece to-do list, your goals, your honey-do list, check, check, check. Big check. Okay. Sudden wealth, like I said, this is not the drop. This is not a drop in the bucket. This is a sizable amount, at least $1,000. And I've been saying that for the last couple of weeks that somebody will spend about $1,000 on you to help you with the financial obligation that you were worried that you might end up having to sacrifice. Okay. Cha ching ding 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 jackpot seven 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 you've just won a jackpot okay and you what'd you win you won this sexy worldly man who's investing in you ticker 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 tape ticker he's investing in you because you have his heart you have his heart and he has yours. 
Aw, what a beautiful love story, guys. All right, let me see if I can clarify these two a little bit more. 11 and 13. Let me clarify sudden oil, please. There's one card. Two cards. Ooh. Okay, look at that. Protection. All in. I help support you as you help support me. We exchange energy in different ways, but the bottom line is we give, we take, we give, we take. Protection. Oh. Yeah, so it was there was definitely an opportunity for action. You may have wished that you could have some help. You may have even told somebody, you know what? Uh, with this strong Sagittarius and the Hierophant energy here, these three cards is basically you voiced your intent and you also kept your faith. You believed in divine timing and you sat back and you said, if this is meant for me, it will happen. Something will come in and save me at the last moment. But if not, I'm willing to sacrifice it because I know this is exactly what's supposed to happen. I can let that, I will feel at peace with letting something go, okay? Definite opportunity. This is a action opportunity, a legitimate, solid opportunity to protect you. So they took it. Awesome. And you know, the funny thing is we have five of wands. Five of wands can be fighting, but this is also competition, a new factor will make you step up your game a little bit okay so whatever this three of wands is whatever bill they paid or whatever money they've invested in you in your obligation they helped you with your need now okay they may they've struggled with that for years and now all of a sudden they're realizing that they have to act how they truly feel if they want their partner to know how they truly feel, then they must act accordingly so. So, they took that opportunity, they helped you out on your obligation, something that was big, and now you're like, oh shit, now I can't complain about doing this or complain about doing that. He actually helped me with something huge. It's so huge that now, now you're happy to, you know, cook and clean and, and scrub the dishes or whatever because if you're going to do this for me, I'm going to do this for you. An equal exchange and freedom in the partnership. Okay. Independent. No codependency. So it looks like there's an end to the codependency uh, for this Scorpio season which is just fucking beautiful. Okay. Look at this. We got three cards. Indigo and Crystal Children, Archangel Metatron, you have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. So some of you guys may have recently talked to some of your children. They may have called out of the blue, and you ha and then, you know, you may have more than one children. So it may, may be like one, one child calls a day, the next time, the next day another child calls, and that same day your third child shows up and, and wants to come and hang out with you. You know, that kind of deal. So it, it's communication with the children. And just, you know, it's just basically dropping a line. Hey, how are you doing? I miss you. I love you. Okay. For some of you guys, like my mom would call me pretty much every day or every two days and if I didn't call her for three days she would call on the third day and be like you haven't called me for three days and I'm like god do I need to talk to you every day <laughs> I have a life um, so it's that kind of thing being close with your children and then everybody's been so busy for a while with all this crazy energy and then suddenly out of the blue it's hey how are you I want to talk story with you I just came to visit you and then you know I, I can I spend the night at your house, I just want to hang out with you, that kind of deal, you know, getting to engage with your children. Now, I don't have any of that here, but I think that might have been in yesterday's video. I did, uh, I think in the last two days I had said something about your child calling you, and I sat back and waited, and boom, my son called me. <laughs> and then uh, the day before, my middle, oh, my middle child, my, my goodness, we love Harleys, woo! <laughs> 
Okay, well, they're leaving. <laughs> Remember who you are. Archangel Michael, you are powerful, loving, and a creative child of God. You are very loved. So, yeah, you might have been feeling the love in the last couple of days after feeling this weird, strange weirdness. Clear your space. Archangel Jophiel, get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you and use Feng Shui. Okay, use the... Uh, yeah, this, that could be what this could represent, represent too, you know, the... Um, because when I see the dragon, I think Chinese. <laughs> Chinese dragon, feng shui, the energy coming in your back. So working with the flow of energy. Some of you guys will check out feng shui and others. It's about not about the uh, energy in your environment, but just energy around you, period. Uh, mainly your own bubble your own bubble that you create okay so you you stressed a little bit worrying if somebody was going to leave you because you had big bills and they came back and they proved you wrong oh boy so that is the you know Sagittarius into Capricorn energy Sagittarius would be proving you wrong and the Capricorn would be taking care amazing all right guys that's all I got for you today love you take care